Engine. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Okay, how did... Okay, my cam got deselected again for some reason, and I changed the hotkey this time, so... Okay. Anyways then, hello anyone who may be watching now or later, hit in here along with... Look here! And welcome to this 30 second something Sunday. We, we have been going for this with, quite a, with this for quite a while, huh? Wait... But the... Oh, fuck it's second! Oh, fuck it's second! Oh, fuck it's second! Yeah, thir three, two. Yeah, we've been doing this for quite a while. Um, and well, the first game that we'll be trying because I do this to try game to either show off games or give them a try to see if they're any good for streaming later. And first off is well, Orwell, named after well, the obvious author. So let's uh, let's see. Obvious call. Congratulations. Ooh. George Orwell, the writer of 1984. <laughs> Go read a freaking book. I read books. <laughs> yes, I don't think that that one has become on my radar. So I should probably soon try to continue reading in a Jurassic Park book. But I'm gonna try. Everyone wants to talk to me through Discord or real life. Uh. Yeah, let's just skip that step if it's asking for a pa for an yeah, for an email address. Be diligent. Your work has severe impact. Please agree to the following terms. I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of citizens in the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere uh, to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. Okay. And finish. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Your registration is now complete. Yeah, it is an immersion thing. All right. It did give me a red flag about uh, the email part. Yeah, at least it wasn't required. Okay, someone was in a hurry. Okay. Movement is a bit stop motion like. There's frames missing, so it looks a bit. Uh, yeah. Hello. A police record found. Um. Is something going to blow up? Yes, a uh, very ominous. There we go. Episode 1, the clocks were striking 13. Okay. You're online, good. Colony Sims, I'll be, I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and last line of defense against terrorism. Uh, wouldn't you really have police for that or <laughs> something? Not someone behind a computer. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks out to online website and documents for easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of this situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Okay. Thank you for the mental image game. Let's see. 
I don't know too much about this game, as I typically do with... Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. So it looks to be... A part of this is going to be a sort of... A, yeah, investigation. Let's see. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Detonation destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonson. Three people killed, five severely injured, terrorist ambitions suspected as a mysterious ladder reaches authorities. Is this 750, Freedom Plaza, three killed, five wounded, nearly completely destroyed, four closed off, act of terror, I'm just skimming through, triggered, short, short distance using a cell phone signal. Several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song Die Gedanken sie free, the thoughts are free, have reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a yeah. A public press statement firmly condemning the assault and puts the nation on high alert until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. Okay, so we have an unknown, a suspect. The profiler holds all the known information on those who investigate. And let me turn on the light because it got a bit darker here than expected. Okay. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. Yep. Continue. The blue-haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before uh, uh, the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Okay, and that is where? Um, I'm not seeing... Where is this arrest record then? Uh, game. <laughs> If you're going to tell me to look at something, look, point me to where it is. I... No. Seriously, game. Ah, no. That's another... Oh, there we go. Could have at least pointed me towards it. The highlighted elements in the record are pieces of, inf piece of data that are able to be extracted. We call these the elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. Okay, so we have a name. Uh, assault on a police officer, arresting officer. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protests at the origin of the assault were forcibly removed, where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated, cooperated immediately. That doesn't really sound like a, a bomber to me. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds a bit old as well. Yeah. What then? Well, yeah. near an unknown object. Yeah, basically, they they have not no evidence at all that she actually committed the assault. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Information in documents can only be you know, come a data chunk when it you know, can clearly be assigned to a target person. And the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has been unlocked, we will need this info to progress. Okay. I get the feeling... Yeah, I get the feeling we are purposefully being sent after the wrong person here. Good, with the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? Actually, yes. I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and see, you, know, you will see what I mean. Is this woman a terrorist? Leading newspaper, okay. Woman allegedly injured a uh, police officer two weeks ago, remains in custody, trial scheduled for August. Simple process. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration. Okay. So she had a previous incident there, allegedly. The exact same location as the assaults. Then she turns up there right before an explosion. Surely not a coincidence. Yeah, that's a very big leap 
Like, it, it would be suspicious, but it would not make one immediately guilty of the crime. Like, just because someone who robbed a bank passed by a bank that was being robbed doesn't mean that they were immediately the ones that uh, committed the robbery. Yeah, As you know, suspect, sure, but not guilty. Let's see. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I? I agree with you, but also in this case, sure. That this doesn't mean she's guilty, but she is at least a suspect to look into. Okay. Artist by profession. Oh yes, one do, uh, who does street art by blowing with uh, fuck off. It seems. Great, you have found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? We've extracted all the information I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. This, the Orwell Ethical Codex, dictates that investigators like yourself are the ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. Then we, uh, we will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. Like we are likely doing now. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Okay, yeah. so we you know, we need to go through these documents that we get, uh, use those data chunks to basically leapfrog to other things to find out as much as we can. Yeah, do I wonder why did she protest? What was the protest about? Uh, I think the camp, the picture here says enough. They were protesting the surveillance state that this uh, the nation is obviously under, which is a very big thing of. Well, Orwell of Orwell's 1984 like, portfolio. Let's see, colorful inhabitant of Wonderland, right behind the rain rainbow. That is an unnecessary bit of data. Quit my jo daily job. Focus on my art career. I tell you, account. Okay, that is information that can be used to find something else. I presume, because. Yeah, that is all you uses a little bit. Good, you found a chat handle. This will allow us to overhear any conversation on that account. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. Okay, anything else? Okay, she has a cat. Okay, she hasn't been chatting yet, it seems. And I very much... Hmm. Okay, that might be a bit of useful data. Because people do not just quit their jobs really nearly. Hmm, interesting. We should have found out what the job was. And let's see. Anything new here? No. So I guess it is wanting us to put this in as well. Even though that's... Yeah, kind of useless information. <laughs> Address. So you're under the impression that our wonderful Miss Gate is really living in Wonderland? Somehow I doubt that. Call it intuition. People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I can't identify, cannot identify as wrong so easily? You've got to be more careful next time around. So yeah, that was a, a forced fail state, I'm presuming. Yeah, but also a red flag, I would say, for if you see using a false address. I yeah, don't that, think this counts as a legal address here. Maybe not illegal, but it does make it. Uh, uh, some people want the address uh, kept secret for obvious reasons. Yeah. I understand why people do these anti terrorist groups and all that, but. Yeah, it should not become a uh, spy on every single person daily. Yeah, you should have good reason to do something first. 
Like, all we have on this person is that she was nearby and that she supposedly assaulted a police officer. And what of which she was... Well, she wasn't in jail. And let's see. The trial was... Uh, the trial was in August. And I think assault... Actually, I don't know how long assault would go for, typically. But probably a few months. And it is April. So that is about eight months later. Hmm. The other thing kind of stupid, like, if he is a someone that wants to prove against the anti-terrorism method they're using, why blow something up in protest? Like, you're, you're just proving them right instead. Yeah. Well, I, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the entire point of this game, that over-surveillance is going to lead to, well, pe yeah, people being made into villains, and then, well, if if you're going to be vilified anyways, you might as well become an actual villain. Hmm. Yeah. Uh... Now, let's see. We have portfolio here. Oh, okay, we can get some more info here. Uh, da, da, da. I was never up sure about the title though. Yeah, that's useless info. Christmas present for my darling. Okay, so she has someone. That is useful information. And yeah, I very much doubt that this will be a good bit of info. Uh, what is this? Background businesswoman's forgotten done. Oh, that's not her, that's not a quote-unquote her title, it's a piece of art she made. Daughter of Entrepreneurs. Okay. I'm not sure how that got distracted out of that, and hello there. We have some chat income. Josie, is this uh, the one she's with? Okay, she has their credit card or something. Minimal of buying all of the buns and <laughs> with that plat oh. Okay, that is a big bit. Stole a credit card from unknown person. It's hmm. Okay, so sort of grand let's see, what does Joseph Langley okay that is useful info. She, she took the she took the card without permission, but he is given post uh, post action permission. You now have a profile for a related person. It can be accessed via the profiler. Related chunks will only appear for targeted persons and can only be extracted into their relevant profiles. And, um, Perhaps just a business call from one of his favorite clients. Actually, yes, this is exactly what's going to happen. A very serious business, Cassandra. So it's much. Mm -hmm. From big parent from my acre man. Daughter of pharmaceutical. Okay, that is a it adds a bit more on something. Watergate, former entrepreneurs, that does ring a bell. Anyways, let's see. We should have a. It said something about, yeah, Joseph Langley. And we should be able to find new data on him then. We don't have a picture. Hmm. Do we have anything? Products. Anything seven stored procedure closing multiple manipulation you know, suspicions. Um, oral enforcement that you've just encountered conflicting active data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, they will should be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the other will become invalid immediately. Okay, so you can overwrite things if you find another chunk. I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the uh, conflict before you proceed, though this is your def uh, decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. 
Oh. Okay. Case being closed due to lack of evidence. Okay. I will put that oh, wrong profile. Okay, so she couldn't be convicted. So, yeah, we can't be certain that she was guilty. This is what I figured. I pity that the CCTV near feed did not actually help. Maybe it will today. Okay, anything more? So it's suspect's lawyer, Joseph uh, Langley. Okay. Will it look for it now, or can I... Confront the suspect's lawyer, criminal attorney, Joseph Langley. Okay, that, that is a bit of a conflict of interest, though. Um, I think. Now, shouldn't we be able to find info on him from this? Hmm. Let's see. Products. Watergate Pharmaceuticals. It's, um, cough drops. Nothing special here. We can check around a bit more, though. Company. Bruno Watergate. Alice Watergate. Cassandra Watergate. Junior COO. Okay. So that, that's what her previous job was? Bearing the family tradition to the next generation, Alice's and Bruno's daughter, Cassandra. Okay. That is relationship info. Go back. Come back. I see now, keeping it a yeah, family affair. And this, what will that add? Previous occupation. I guess that way everything stays in the family. Being an artist and a junior CEO, um, chief of operations, I'm guessing, seems quite odd. She also mentioned he had a, quite a dull job, didn't she? Yeah, is this that previous? There's something new somewhere. Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. There was an update there as well. I didn't get to read it though. National Beholder thus published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if there's any new information available. All right, let's check this again. Headlines. Crime rate continues to drop. Negotiations in Tiflit failed. Let's see, we safety bill. Okay. Seems mostly like oh, hello, the party projects. Oh, this is what we just were. Okay. Hmm. And what is that supposed to mean? That it can be pulled out further? Jobs. We are urgently looking for a chief operating officer. Okay. I was close by with that to replace the retired, formerly appointed predecessor. So yeah, that's confirmation that she quit the job. Or maybe I was wrong and nothing stays in the family. Ouch. This is probably what she meant about quitting her job. Good. Currently, I'm thinking that our war Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change, don't you agree? Uh, well, it would have had, it would have been quite a radical change if she went from alleged assault, which was not proven, so she cannot be held or considered guilty for that. Uh, it could help raise suspicion, but... Hmm. If you're, if you're going to suspect everyone of everything, isn't that just isn't that just the, the party mentality in 1984 just completely summed up in just as few words as everything as possible? Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. careful investigation. Let's find out what happened in between these two lies of her. What may have caused this radical shift, if there even was a radical shift, but. Yeah, we are very much being... And I think we're being railroaded someone to arrest an innocent person. Um, this is not relevant. Projects, nope. 
Cassandra's timeline. How did we get access to this? Stellas, you invited the tea behind inside the rabbit hole. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't think we would need to uh, replace that picture with that. We have a birthday though, and some interests. Activism, all right. Likes the target music, the art, music, activism. What the lineup? Yeah, your typical hippie. Let's see. Likes the targets, painting, Alice in Wonderland, and her cat. We can't click any of those. Post on March the uh, first day in freedom, far away from the cycles of Watergate Forma. She's gonna pay your stuff now. Mm -hmm. Already got. Okay, so she is self-employed. Okay. The spice puppet of the states you have finally managed to destroy is entirely there is nothing left to do but congratulate you these are my personal wishes from you from the deepest abyss of my heart fuck all you know, of you government lackeys okay she was really pissed about something well well miss watergate we aren't too fond of you either and again it could have uh, it could have just been a spur of the moment thing because well I, I personally don't use Twitter because of stuff like this, but when you're angry and you're going to post something uh, and you're going to likely to post something you'll regret later. Yeah, I would not I would suggest against doing this on a public site. Some things are better kept in private to avoid misunderstanding. And yeah, if you were angry, you may not properly think what you're saying. A relationship with her lawyer might be noteworthy, though we could have already extracted that from what we already knew. Let's see, conflicting data, Mary Blight broken uh, friendship that will create a new profile of Mary Blight. Okay, show conflict. Okay. It won't show the conflict. What is this conflict then? How sad. Hmm. I guess, well, we didn't have anything earlier on her with uh, her mother. That is her mother, I write. Uh, let's see. Company. No. And who is this, who is, who is this Mary Blight then? Or Bly. Hmm? I have quite a neutral eye on activism. It can be good. That I understand. But I have over the years seen that it can also be very misused. In the term can be misused. Hmm. I think you've probably seen the news that uh, some people call us an activist, but they are clearly not. Yeah, it's, it's typically, it's often used to insinuate more than actually can be proven. And yeah. let's see. Not saying all activists are bad, I'm not saying that. Just, there are some bad apples out there that are sort of staining the name. If that makes okay. sense. We've got an alias here. Alias name. You know people on the web, so many names, so many identities. It's always good to record every alias, then we can match data chunks to target persons whenever they are using them. Okay, activist group. We are getting on the half hour though. Hmm. Yep. Nope, there's something new popped up. Okay, Mary. Okay, I, I just get the feeling we should have found something like that earlier, because we had a conflict without actually a conflict. Hmm. Oh, the listener is active. And another chat with Joseph Langley. Okay, let's do this chat and then finish this up. I, I don't think she is actually... I don't think she's actually involved with this. Just we're getting railroaded in, well, 
convicting an innocent person already fucked me up enough that I had to catch a bus from there every day. So there, it is not a coincidence at all that she was there. She, well, she has to go there regularly, or like every day. She because she works nearby or something. Right. This is something that was serious. Look, I should never have gone down to, to that damn protest. Okay. Yeah. Meaning her presence there before the bombing could be coincidence after all, which is the entire thing this case is based on. So, yeah, I'll reserve my thoughts until you find more evidence. I was so happy when Gold Frails accepted me in, in to do. Whom? Once, okay, that's the group I'm presuming. Let's see, think of it this way. You could have, if, you would, if you would not have gone to the protest, then you would never have been wrongfully in the... Okay, so they met. Okay, then it's not a conflict of interest if the relationship started after the case. <laughs> Though she is sort of uh, mooching off of her boyfriend. An activist group called Thought. Interesting. Maybe this is what influenced her, and who is Goldfells? We should find something that shows her current attitude and see if we're following the right person. Okay, so now he is realizing. Oh, we might not have a case with this anyways. So, Sims might not be a, as much of a dick as thought. Mm -hmm. uh, she has a bit of, it seems she has a bit of an anger management program, so we're at very least a short uh, fuse. Oh, medicine. Anger management program? On medication. What's oh, this oh, methadone? Can you look that up for me? Let's give this oh, a bit more time. Yes, I get the right. feeling we are close to finishing this off. All right. Now, for a moment, thought you said the anger problem wrong. <laughs> but in this context, I make, it makes sense now. So now, what are you saying? Let's see. Products: methadone, methadone blue. Uh, the, 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 the Antidepressant. To help stabilize your emotions. She might be emotionally unstable if she's reliant on this medication. Mm, that is a bit of a leap. Looking at what you've extracted so far, we're dealing with a potentially dangerous personality. It could be said of anybody, basically. I will indicate that to law enforcement. Oh, he's back, right back to being a dick. Yeah. At that point, I would rather just talk with their doctor to see if they have the kind of tendency or not. Let's see. This is... Okay, That's this is quite a bit. Freedom is unfree. And there's with an update somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> there's just too many cameras. We were there because we wanted a peaceful protest. We have always been against violence. Okay. If you think that is her actual attitude, we might be barking up the wrong tree after all. Alright, what we found so far is all good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little more concrete. We have to dig deeper, and let's just keep look, skimming through this for anything it picks up. And who, oh, we have gold fells here. Okay, this is getting quite the net. And... Shouldn't it be triggering stuff like this now that we have someone here with the same alias as Goldfells? Or is it just specifically focusing on us on her at the moment because this is the tutorial? Um, nope. Thought. Okay, someone has been screwing with this website. Yeah, it... It totally doesn't say censorship when a, a site about uh, censorship is being censored, huh? Yeah. And Goldfells, accounts, administrator, articles five. Not very active. Well, then again, it could also have been removing stuff. Uh, can we not pick up the, any of this info? 
No, we cannot. So it is just railroading us to her alone. Nothing new from that. And another chat with Juliet Carrington. Okay. Uh, let's give it five more for 40 total. Just wanted to know your post on timelines about this assault. What assault? It's nothing. Uh, yeah, that's what people say a lot when there is something. Just had let off steam. Yeah, as expected. Lots of other shit. Uh, yeah. A uh, boyfriend that isn't always there or available. Uh, well, and she is unemployed. She's, ma she's making art, but... Um, it can't really be said just how much she can, how stable of an income that is. Like, it's nice art. Wait, what? Okay, so this is her ad basically admitting that she. Wait. You heard that officer to save me? Wait. Okay, I get... Oh, we're dealing with a case of police brutality here. But would that be enough to, you know, use a bomb? I, yes, I very much doubt that. Injured in... in okay. What, where did that come from now? This is perfect. We can arrest her and open the investigation again. Every probably won't be able to hold her for long if it really happened in defense of the Juliet. And he's right back to asshole mode. Very good work. The intervention team is already on its way. We'll need to wait for confirmation. Next stop, Wonderland, right? Just kidding. Next time be careful with providing the wrong data there, okay? In Ms. Watergate's case, it was not a problem to get her address with the help of local police due to her former records. Hmm. Okay, so are we done then with this now? No. Oh. Chat. Uh, yeah, this is probably her reacting to the police showing up at her door. You know, maybe not. Uh, even if you take the post down, it's still there in the records for someone to dig up. And yeah, she's not going to get a response because she's just been... <laughs> and hello there, Abbasoni. <laughs> yeah, she... Uh, she's getting that answer at the moment. By the way, how is your boyfriend still together? Yeah, she is not going to get an answer back because she's just been arrested. <laughs> uh, well, at... Just a minute. Uh, hello. They are at the wrong door. Let's see. I'll inquire if yeah, all went well with arresting Miss Watergate. You did a good job on any in any case. Although we have no proof she is involved in the bombing, we might be able to question her. Despite acting in defense of the Juliet, she seems to be quite unstable and a threat. Back to douchebag mode again. Okay, I just received confirmation that she is now in custody. Very good work indeed. I'm curious about this thought group though. Whether they... Oh god. No, 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 take... Let's... Two dead after second explosion. Which proves that she can't have done that because she was just arrested. She is not the bomber. Two dads, similar approach, same letter found, so these assaults are connected. As if that wasn't enough already, Miss Mordecai was in custody at the time, so that's her out of the picture, at least for this attack. This complicates matters massively, so much for our simple test case. I need to speak with my superiors, see how we are to proceed, given these extru ex extenuating... Ex I think that is how you say it, extenuating circumstances? You did yeah, good today. So. You can log off and get some rest by clicking the button on the top right of the desktop. Try and get some sleep. I have a feeling the next few days are going to be trying at best. Okay. I can see us not making series of this game. Yeah, this could this could probably take a let. Let's see. Based on the data you submitted, we have learned the following. Severe assault occurred at this Freedom Plaza yesterday. Present there prior to the assault and is thus being investigated. 
hints of involvement of an activist group. Well, I wouldn't say hints, because the only hint, the only thing linking that group to the incident was someone who is not involved in the incident at all. So that's a dead link. Second assault occurred. <laughs> Criminally, she's been criminally charged with the injury of a protest artist that uh, arrest been made. Okay. Actually, I, I should not have pressed that. Yep. Okay, so each of these cases are going to be in that. Let's see if we can get out, though. Yes, yes, yes. It, it, this is interesting. But it would be a rather slow stream if this... I'll, I'll look up how long this game takes to play through. But for now, it's a maybe leaning towards a no. For now, yeah, though... Well. Oh, go on. Yeah, I'm just starting up the second game. Uh, you say what you think of that. I would say yeah. my, my only slightly problem with this game for streaming is it feels rather political. <laughs> That's the whole thing of it. <laughs> like, yeah. you could... There is no way you can say George Orwell's 1984 and not get political. Okay, then I get the point down. Here's about our students. We not we don't like talking about politics in the open as such. Like if we do, we do it very little. But we are not keen on it. And what you should never do to a Swede is don't ever ask which which political party to vote for. Never ask that. Yeah, basically, yeah, somebody, they'd basically be asking them to show their dick. It's more of they may consider you uh, a political extremist. This is probably mm. why most feeds nowadays look at um, some politics in other countries very... Like, they just don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Let me lower that volume a bit. There we go. That's better. If OBS in front so I can keep an eye on the audio volumes. But yeah, the, the whole thing about uh, Orwell's 1984 is talking about the dangers of just too much surveillance, too much of a well, police state on its own is already very dangerous. And it, it's basically a warning against too much government control. But enough of that. Out there somewhere is the next game. And let's have a little look. Controls. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I, I can use the, the chair. Yeah. There we go. And okay, I can use the controller. Uh, it's wait, I've tried this game before. I don't remember that at all. Maybe you did 40 minutes. Let's see, 20XX, Mother Planet, RS Space Station, Humanity is at Peril. Captain. Hmm? We have received a strange signal. The Gori is attacking us again, we must fight back. Call Yuri now. Hmm. Spaceship is ready. Let's do this. Uh, press X or X for controller button X to shoot. Okay, so... I did, I, also with this one, I have... Well, I thought I had no clue of what I was getting into. So, is this just going to be a side-scroller? That's a lot of health for a side-scroller. It's very old cool. Hmm. Uh, what? Okay, that was an upgrade. It's... Okay, it's causing the shots to split up. Okay. Hit taken. Not splitting up too much, though. Hmm. Yeah, I, I... I... If I have tried... No, I, it's obvious that I tried this game before, but I completely forgot that I did. There was part of that intro, no, be not really sure if you could call it the cinematic, uh, did look familiar with the helmet, though. Oh, hello there. What the heck? 
Someone's not skimming on the, uh, how can I make myself look evil with this? Okay. Did not expect... Okay. That... Okay, those missiles are really on your ass. Nope. And I might... I might actually lose this in the first level. All integrity compromised. The Rita Mother Planet, my spaceship is severely damaged. Gory is no longer attacking Mother Planet. He is now landing on a nearby planet. I'll follow him. Okay, so there was, you were supposed to lose or something? Uh, Karaki in chat. Just letting you know this is not Outer Wilds. Yeah, it's Outer Wilds is up next in the list after we've tried this for half an hour. That, that's the whole point of uh, these Something Sunday streams. I try four games and, well, I can only name the stream after one of them. Batteries damaged. If you land, you will not be able to lift off. I have no choice. Grigori must be stopped or I'm not a worthy space cop. I'm sure I can find some other power source in this plant. Prepare for landing. Wish me luck. Space cop. Captain's log. It looks like I've landed on an inhospitable planet. I have to find a way to fix my ship and defeat the Grigori for the sake of Mother Planet. It, this is starting to look somewhat familiar. And I have to say, he looks very sure he's a space cop. But if I were to cut that, uh, <laughs> cut that uh, portrait out and put it anywhere else, you, I think most people would say, yeah, that's the villain. <laughs> Interesting, there's a lot of lava here, or so it seems. Well, I'll just jump over it. Okay. B button is jump. B bit odd. Typically, A is the jump button. I somehow knew it would come to this. It's time to test my teleporter gun. X. Okay. And it just... just <laughs> it just goes forward until it hits something. Oh. It is very... Uh, one. Very Metroid-like or something we were going to say. Very retro home home to retro games. Like, yeah. look at the helmet. <laughs> oh, yeah. The old fish bowls. This plant is certainly a dangerous one. I'm gonna have to think really fast here, even in the middle of a fall. Okay. I still have to say, normally, as a kid, I usually found the fish bowls more often with the internet, but this is what the Red Kingdom, I would say, actually makes him look more frightening. Yeah. There's a bunch of corpses all around here, so we are not the first people to have gotten here. And those are checkpoints. Well, hungry. And not my fault I did not have trash cans. Okay. Hmm. Oh, oh, ah. Okay, so now it's getting a bit more tough. Uh, but yeah, to explain for Corky in the chat, uh, these some uh, I call these streams something Sunday because it's a bit hard to kind of name something. Uh, let's try four games uh, for half an hour and see what sticks. Because well, there's only so many letters you can put in a Twitch title. Yeah, and in okay. some games you have to try for one hour each. But we have reason that a lot of games that you wanted to try at least. 20 minutes off to get through more of them. Okay. We can shoot this teleporter gun through glass and bars like that. Okay. So, there we go. We can pass through. The shot can safely pass through dangers. As long as we don't materialize on top of dangers, I'm presuming. Okay. It's expanding on its little uh, mechanics quite fast. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh. You go ahead first. I would say, I am kind of glad that we in a, in a day and age where pixel games like this can come back, and with the new technology, we can make pixel games surprisingly good in the pixelation. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Apparently, I was wrong. There are living creatures on this planet, but I think life here is not intelligent nor peaceful. I'd better watch out. I saw a post of that recently on Reddit, uh, 
r slash gaming and okay this shop will just pass through these things as well without any harm it, it so it compared a picture of uh, final fantasy 7 if we uh, of the original graphic and then how it would look on a crt tv which has all of those little uh, specs all over the screen and yeah it look it actually looks better on the crt screen than uh, how it would actually look so yeah some of it is that the technology of the day in parts made it look better than it actually was and what is with these beams of light yeah that's why we do have a bit of tv technology and all that luckily stuff like that can be emulated easily what? This energy beam neutralizes the effect of my teleport gun. Very, very weird. Okay, so those will block us from being able to shoot, which means there. Yeah, and also, here's the other thing. When you revive or start games like these, it means the minimal games can be for once. And let's be honest, this is nice, but it's very time consuming. Yeah. Some areas can be very tricky, good thing my teleport gun conserves momentum. So if I start jumping just before a shot hits something, I will finish teleporting. When I finish teleporting, I'll still be jumping. Okay, so some minor... Uh, some minor portal of 6. Hmm. What else to say? Right, another good thing about fix again is that you should not, you know, Gigabyte Yeah. Again, usually. That's a bit of the exception. But three okay. games can be very. Yeah. Basic debug of them. Like, well, I was a good example. This video is likely more gig. And that's impressive. But I mean. Would it, I don't know what's the difference between Vox and 3D, really. Uh, voxel is the uh, cube stop. Um, like you see in Minecraft or Pixar. Basically that All everything right. is made out of uh, squares that can be easily manipulated or worked with. Okay, so it's a more simplified 3D. Yeah. Alright. Okay, I was wrong again. There is intelligent life on this planet after all. I hope it's peaceful. I hope so too. A is interact. Hey, listen. <laughs> There's a city over that tunnel. The people there may help you. Just jump on these blocks. Uh, oh, I accidentally talked again. And again. <laughs> Trying to skip that. Oh, yeah. God. And remember when playing PlayStation 2 in the early days when they started to do more PD games? They were alright, mostly anime games, but some other companies that really were. Ugh. It was not an easy transition, I can easily see. Yeah. Oop. Another weird beam, but this one's a bit different. Uh, yeah, that, that's why I like the story of uh, Tonic Trouble. Because, oh, okay, so this beam blocks the shot, but lets you teleport to it, okay. Uh, the story of Tonic Trouble is that it was a game by Ubisoft, and it was made before... Uh, it was made before uh, Rayman 2 as a test, because yeah, they, they could have just tried to jump straight to 3D with one of their big franchises, uh, like Rayman, but they didn't, they didn't know at all how to make a 3D game. So what they did was they made a 3D game without their flagships, so they could basically do a test run without any, without actually much investment. There's a city after the junkyard. They probably got the ship parts you need. That feels weird, like, they, they seem like they also a question that we didn't hear that you asked. I always yeah. thought that would be weird. Yeah, and our character isn't exactly mute. <laughs> yeah, but we haven't seen him talk. And, oh god, remember... I, I, I always forget there's a trooper, the... 
main character is never speaking, but people seem to assume you said something? Yeah. Oh. I can't understand, like, I'm a bit 50-50 on it. I can't see why they do it, but it can also be a bit overdone or sort of impractically, just impractically done. Yeah, it can get a bit so, annoying when you don't know the personality of your character. Yeah. The, I, it's at least better than a, oh well, I shouldn't say better than as other times I've seen, but they do give you dialogue. But the dialogue can be tricking you to think, oh, that sounds nice. And then when you kind of says it, it sounds horrible. They realize, oh, they're sarcastic. Hello there. The path to Alien City is blocked by strange uh, space bar. The little spaceman will have to go through Treeman's domain. Okay, that, that, that is obviously the brief from whatever we thought I think, I think. Okay. Hi! And hello, that looks like a hydroponics tube. English? Basically, it's a... You know in sci-fi movies in space that they sometimes have plants growing on board? It's like that. Basically, it's, it's a controlled environment to let uh, plants grow where they normally would not be able to. Oh, you mean you're talking about the glass jar? Yeah. Okay, now I get it. Now I get what you mean. Yeah. Various places on this planet require the use of momentum. Sometimes it's wise to shoot while I'm still falling down from a jump, so I reach the ground in time to jump again. Okay. Okay. Because I remember watching my brothers and mother and father playing these games. Especially my mother. And it, I said these people, I didn't become a proper gamer until I played on PC. On a, well, I think one of the first games, but that's been all the games I played on PC before, but the one that really, really made me love PC games was probably Warcraft 2 and Age of Empires. Okay. So he was talking about of falling before. Yeah, falling yeah. and shooting at the right time. Okay, I, I'm guessing that the lo these blocks here are for that. But where would we want to be falling? Good question. Would... And then, yeah, for people curious, reason I didn't play much games during the Nintendo era but was well, I was horrible at jumping balls and all of that. <laughs> Whatever we needed to fall for, well, we didn't need to. I see what seems to be a door. Well, I guess I have no choice but to go through it. Up to enter. Okay. And we have a water area. We have a blocking beam. Hmm. And I, I'm reminded now that I really should just be noting down times or using a stopwatch or something to keep track of time. I think we are... 20 minutes now in this. Hmm. Yep, I think I'm all right. <laughs> yep. Wait, oh, come on. Uh, at least we know we can somewhat cheese whatever we're supposed to be doing here. Yep. Oh, at this game, I. 30 minutes or more is what we aim for. But I'm always going to quit just out of the. One, two minutes, or just five minutes, and it's depending on if the game just refuses to work or if it's that's yeah. horrible. There we go. We can just about reach that. Now, is there. There's a checkpoint right next to it. I was kind of hidden behind my phone here, which is on the charger. The hermit and the lake. Yes, I mean the thing on. Hmm. Let's wait for that to respawn. And there we go. Okay, it's an, a nice little platformer, nothing too ultra complex or anything. And let's see if we can chat with this guy. Are you sure? I accidentally keep calling platformers jumping puzzles. <laughs> little spaceman can jump really high. Congratulations. <laughs> so nothing to actually gain from that. There we go. Checkpoint, and that's a big ass. Okay, this place is a lot more advanced than it might seem at first glance. Yep, 
And to the next question, don't jumping puzzles and platforming usually go hand in hand? Yeah. Technically, right. technically any platformer is just a game all about uh, jumping puzzles. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, the door is over there. But how do we reach that? There's no way we can get our shots over there. Um, wait. There we go. Okay. Then we head that way. Okay. This, this is a nice little game. And yeah, yeah. then we just sink through. There we go. Weird artifacts. You need one? A light orb? Hmm, that's hard to find. You should try this city. There's a bridge up there. Now I see already what we need to do. And that. Yep. Okay. Don't remember if I have, like we saw at the start that I have played this game before. I'm just trying to remember if I actually finished it or not, because it showed 40 minutes there. Could it be that this game is just really short? You need light orb? I heard that there's one in the dark citadel. Okay. Yep. Okay, just got short of that. There we go. I know nothing. <laughs> okay, Jon Snow. And I pressed the wrong button because as you as A is typically the jump button, not the interact button. And you There's a hidden tunnel in this city. You should look for it. Use the tunnel to get a gauss gun and reach the dark citadel. Okay. Oh, I see it. I see something on the ground there. Yeah, that's very blatantly there. Hmm. And what do you have to say? Spaceships need a light orb to work. They need it because of reasons. <laughs> yeah, I get. I get the feeling this game is is mostly a little love letter to old games. Or old yeah, platformers. I don't think I've seen any platformers use teleport guns. There's a secret tunnel entrance under a house. Okay. I don't think we can go any further from here. And we can't go over there. Unless... No, we can't block... We can't destroy that block. I guess we need the Gauss gun for that, or... Maybe one of these houses is oh. the secret entrance. Completely by accident. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, my the camera shot was blocking the tunnel from vision there. And there's the ghost gun then. You found the ghost gun, a strong weapon that can destroy rocks and even enemies. C or controller A to shoot. Okay. Now I, I get the feeling this game might be a bit like a a test run, like I said of uh, Tonic Trouble. That someone, that someone made this in, uh, yeah, practice for something possibly bigger later. That could make sense. Hello there. There's no turning back now. Okay. Leap of Fate, The Fall. More astronaut corpses. And now we free, even face bats. Okay, uh, doesn't fully seem to be going after me, though. Know? Just flying around random. Hmm. Uh, double jumping. Okay. Uh, let's. Yeah, we go. Hmm. Okay, how do we get past this then? Can't go that way, we can't. Yep. 
Okay. Maybe. Oh, I see. Like the, the trick I did earlier to get to the uh, aliens up top. It... There we go. And this door is closed. Okay. Cl clever little trick. And. Okay. Yep, I get the feeling that we might be able to get through this game in one go entirely. Let's see, I'm Treeman. Treeman doesn't like Spaceman Grigori. Yep. He's already said that and... Okay, we do not want to go through the... We do not want to go through that there. Uh, let's see. I think I see how we can do this. We want to jump from the wall there. Wait, but what, what did what did I touch there to die? Wait, you turned on the what? Uh, like what? Oh, did did I accidentally fire the portal gun into the lava? I think that's what happened. <laughs> that would is madly not make sense. There we go. Just skip all of that entirely. And checkpoint. I see one more type of beam. Damn, aren't two enough? Okay, what do you do? Oh, you redirect it. Okay. There we go. And I fired that too late. Let's see, jumping on glass, that'll block it. Yeah. And that'll also block it. Let's see then. Not enough time to get through. Hmm. Let's see. Almost. There we go. Yeah, I can't really think of any game but tel there's teleportation guns. At least uh, not in uh, this uh, style of game, at least. Hmm. How do we get up there now? Do not want to end up on the other side again there. Um, hmm. We can't do a wall jump. Hmm. Yeah, I'm confused. I, yeah, I, we can get up there. We can get on top of uh, the block in the middle. Okay. And then we can, uh, then we can teleport from there to the up uh, to the door. So, or that. <laughs> Set points. Let's see. I might, I, I might not have actually finished this game. Probably because uh, I got too frustrated. Yeah, I didn't figure this stuff out or something. Yeah, I would not be surprised. But it... Yeah, that was my biggest gripe with some early Nintendo games. Like, I couldn't handle the combat of that, but the young thing at times mm, were the thing that frustrated me the most. So I asked anybody who watched the others play it. There we go. And then, can we. Yes, we can destroy that block. Can we do that? And I shoot too fast with that. No, too late. There we go. And that. And now we can use that to ride it up. And... Hmm. There we go. Okay. No 
a treatment, though we are at our 30 minutes. A strange group, strange clue, cube. Ugh. Try shooting and reflect things. Try shooting something at it. It's funny. Okay. That cube. Oh, okay. So they'll just bounce them back and forth. Uh, can I just? We, I don't think we can destroy them. And let's. Uh, oh, that's just going to keep going eternally, huh? Yeah, that noise is, isn't going to get annoying at all. I say that it, and it stops. <laughs> Let's see then. Like, How do we what get? Make it insane? Let's clear this up just in case. And oh, they respawn. Hmm. Okay, so we need to do this from the other side. Hmm. And then we can. Actually, I see what we can do here. Do that. And then we start destroying these blocks. Because that teleport shot take goes for quite a long time by the time that's... Uh, no, it does... Okay, it does not go long enough for that. Okay. Yep, wrong. and then break that at, oh, not the time treatment okay that it's a timing puzzle more than anything else that is going to be annoying yeah I can, I can see it, this being the point where you end up uh, quickening and, oh, not enough okay timing puzzles can always be annoying if there's a little as little time window for it all. Yeah, it's really... I think I'm going to have the awful one else to, feed, to help me with the time puzzles. And I say the time puzzles where I question, how are you supposed to be able to do this quickly? But everyone else is able to finish it with maybe one or two seconds before it's too late. And then you see uh, the other side that the the, work, the the most bonus point you should finish is on the a certain amount. The question: How the heck is that possible? Yep, not enough time. Okay. Hmm. I'm, I'm possibly missing something here. Uh, let's save and exit because uh, yes, I will. Quick, pressing too quickly. Okay. I'll have to take a look at how long that game will take uh, as well, because it, it is a fun little platformer. Or, hmm. yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. I get the feeling it might just be not even a full hour, because it does feel like a test game. Anyways, share this game. And yeah, now we're getting to the, <laughs> the game that the stream is being titled as, or categorized as the Outer Wilds. And I, I heard a few things about this game, uh, though it always confused me, are they talking about the Outer Wilds or the Outer Worlds? Because they released about the same time, I think. I think there was like three or five games with similar names releasing about the same time. Mm -hmm. oh. Outer Wilds. Okay, this is nice. I think I've seen a little bit uh, of someone playing this. It is on a small test thing. So I think they, they were doing the early uh, access version. Okay. I've heard some things about this game, uh, but we'll have to see if they are accurate or not. Also, let me turn this thing down a bit. Uh, leave that as wake up again. Okay, what? Oh, that's a shuttle that just got fucked over by some sort of. That didn't look like a meteorite or something. I was cleaning my glasses, so I missed. Um, hello. 
Oh, the game. Oh, OBS does not like this game apparently. Uh, it, let's set. It is one game you need in sync on, perhaps. Is that better? No. There, for some reason, some games just aren't like this. Or uh, yeah, let let's put all of this to low. That might help. I should probably ask you something. What some of these things mean? Okay. Still own. Oh, there it, it goes. Improving. Okay. And now it's dropping again. Okay. Is there anything else that can be lowered? Quarter, low, low, low. Hmm. Let's turn off full screen mode. That sometimes seems to help. Not in this case. Like, why is it advising the controller if it's more like a mouse, uh, first person mouse control or something? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Autopilot, ship lock, rumor modes. If I check. Okay, this. What is going on with this? Like, this game can be that intensive. So I am hearing my graphics card go quite a bit at this. Or the CPU. Let's bring up this. Task manager. I haven't used this in a while. I think that sounds. I think some maybe YouTuber I watched had this same problem. Two even I think that they had the yep. that the machines got warm and the, it was even not that much cooperative with the, their uh, software recording program. Okay, it, it's maxing out my graphics card somehow, even though everything is set to low. What is dithering? Maybe it needs to have a V-Sync on. Mm, yeah, let, let's put that accursed thing on. See if that does anything. No, not at all. Okay, that's just bizarre. And... 560p and ultra low. I know what it is. Uh, Abby was only in the chat. And I, I almost banned you there, Abby, because you were imitating one of those spam bots. I, I, I was moving the mouse over to... Oh, until I noticed... Oh, that's Abby. So, yeah, you dodged a bullet there. Uh, let's see. The game is not limiting itself to 60 frames or 144 hertz. I'm just going to maximum DJ optimization. NVIDIA soft... Go to NVIDIA software. Uh, let me look that up here. NVIDIA... Probably the control panel. Uh, there we go. Let's see then. Video color, video image. Um, which of these is it again? 3D settings. Program set. Oh, yeah, I, let's see. Then I select Outer Wilds from this, I believe. And then I can set it to automatically limit stuff. Outer Wilds. Then where is this? Uh, um, it should be somewhere here to limit it. Vertical sync. Let's turn that force that on. Maybe that'll do something. Ah, max frame rate. Max frame rate, okay. Uh, I'll turn that on and set it to 60. Yep. It, what it is do? On and then okay, that's not how that okay. It's the FPS, it has a, a box for putting in a number, but it won't let me delete. Okay, apply that, let it run its course. Yep, there we go. And the NVIDIA, okay, my graphics card is now only running at 20%. Okay, that. Yeah, that's an odd bit of uh, optimization that they didn't do then in the game. All right. Yeah. Let... And also, oh, you want? Yeah, I'll just put everything up to high here to see if that'll do much. If it just runs rampant with the 
CPU otherwise. And let's put it back to full screen. There we go. Hmm. Now it's, let's see. No, 20 frames per second. Okay. Then let's. But no, the not, CPU hmm. is calm at least. Let's set everything to load in again, just to be certain. Quarter. And maybe try to pre-sync on again. It looks better, but it's still below 40. It's still below 60. Odd. Yes, some programs... Uh, oh, come on. Now it's maxed out the graphics card again. Okay, let's see. What the hell is this? Off. It should be limit. What could be doing this that it's running rampant with it? It's being set at. It should only be able to run at 70 FPS at the maximum right now because of the Windows outer uh, Windows settings. Hmm. But it's clearly not obeying that because now it's going up again at 97 percent, 70 degrees Celsius. The hell? Okay, yeah. if if this becomes a stream, then we're obviously going to have to work at something. It, at least it's running. Okay, now it's running at 60. I did not change any. No, I lowered the settings, but it didn't seem to do it. Surf. Maybe it I guess like this will. Hmm. Maybe let, let's see. 60. 60. Not. Why is it now? It oh, there it drops. Okay, so it doesn't like the campfire. Yeah. Um, let's try to keep that out of sight. Then. Slate. Uh, hello. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars. I see. So it's launch day. Let's let's set the timer at about now for the 30 minutes. So it's launch day. Eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? There was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell in the past, right? Uh, well, it is. If, it, if, if not dwelling in the past, uh, ruins your future. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch coach from Hornsville on the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay. Uh, observatory. Where is that then? Hmm. And a lamp? Yeah, it's a bug lamp. Okay. Uh, there's the observatory. And what is this? Fly model ship? <laughs> uh, oops. Okay, well, we can just reset it like that. Okay. Yeah, upwards, there we go. upwards thrust. Okay, so it's like a lander. I, I landed it in the freaking water. <laughs> Super early. You bet. Okay, that was a very fast cloud and <laughs> screwed it up again. Uh, can we... Sort of... No. Hmm. Let's see if we can get this thing in the geyser. Yep. <laughs> and off it goes. Okay. Uh, hello there. I didn't see them at all. What landing? I guess that's why Slate should fly the real thing, huh? Uh, hopefully not, if... <laughs> It's like most of the landings there. I'll be stunned if you're going to use a water gear to launch this plane. Hey, Ratsling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. When you return, let's, uh, let's you, me, and Gosson open up a bottle of the good stuff. Only seeking adventure among one star, actually, other stars are far too, uh, too far away. 
The good stuff is less delicious sap when a more daunting digestive challenge. <laughs> An iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthian, my friend. Our hardy uh, hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from a trial and error, by which I uh, mean our ancestors surviving and leading a lot of bad things. That um, probably is true. If yeah, there is some truth to that. Uh, the only way to find out if something is bad for you is for somebody and someone to eat it first. Brutal. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't just blown this out anymore. I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. <laughs> yeah, the space program certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Uh, those things are going to blow us up, aren't they? Outer Wilds Venture. And car postcards from orbit. The projector is linked to our sky sh another satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Heart. The satellite is equipped with two onboard uh, cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Okay. Um. Okay. Hello, what's... Okay. So this thing is automatically going around and I'm... Alright. Uh, where is this village then? It, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Not really too useful if you can't make a picture down... Uh, what have we here? This pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Veldspar is all the remains of our inevitable flight into space. I seem the Veldspar also didn't make it back then. Although it's been argued that such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, <laughs> they will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. Okay, so that went uh, very poorly. Let's see, much else to look oh, at. So, yeah, very concerning. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hello there, Marl. So it's lunch day, huh? I was going to miss you. Speaking of lunch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launched from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the words. <laughs> the launch pad is flammable. <laughs> you didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be your, uh, fine for yours. Probably. <laughs> okay, uh, these people might not be the smartest. Hey, smart enough to get up in space, but... Uh, smart enough to get up in space, but probably not come back down. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like rushing their experiments. Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you know, you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instrument, won't you? Uh, tell me about the travelers' instruments. Uh, sure, I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's church, drums, remix, <laughs> banjo, and gavroche flute. Not the type of instruments I think they should prioritize. <laughs> Veldspar's harmonica, of course, though Veldspar has been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. So, we're talking about years here, not decades of... <laughs> not decades of space flight program. So, uh, yeah, that explains why things are a bit... Uh, um, ramshackle, I'll use the yeah, word. That, yeah, that has some, some good advancement, but still here... Maybe too early to do space. Anyway, you hear music in space, there will be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Uh, music doesn't really travel in space because there's no, amp no, no air for the sound waves to travel through. Okay, this way to the observatory. Hello, astronauts. 
if it isn't my favorite you know, troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow this, their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, uh -huh. can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you use it. We'll even let you be it. Yes. Sorry, we can't today. Oh, really? But we can't play without a signal scope. Play with us later, okay? If we survive the launch, that is. Galena. And she's being shy. Okay. Can't interact with any of these doors. It's a nice little place here. Yeah. Scanel. I'm sure it's Yeah, fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. <laughs> Leaving the crater? Guess we'll be all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. A big water planet, giant steeps, there could I go. Where's that? Right time after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting down around the fire uh, campfire, they were told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. Okay, so they can come back down. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Never wants to see what lays beneath the surface. So they decided to travel uh, deeper, they traveled down and down. But suddenly Gavro couldn't go any further. <laughs> I estimated how boring this would be, goodbye. Tell me more. I will, I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gavro go any deeper. It held Gavro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gavro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Was there wine have involved in Gavro's campfire story? But to think of it, don't you have some way I should be exploring that isn't here? <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's one way to tell someone to fuck off. Oh dear. Okay, very charming game so far. Let's see. Observatory that way. Oop. What was that? Oh, you're throwing stones? At... Okay, some sort of anomaly. Arcros. Hi, astronaut. Another patch of ghost matter inside this fence. Kosen says they used to be bigger when they were hassling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super <laughs> long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome. It'll burn the heck out of... Okay. Shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. Ghost matter is dangerous. You know ghost matter is how tech you know, tide lost their foot, right? No, really? That's <laughs> of course. You warn them of danger and instead they go leaping into it. Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eye. Good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Horns full. Uh. Let's see. Okay. Now yeah, that probably be a hazard and frame rate was dropping there again for some reason. I think the... No, oh, hello, what's that? Hmm. Yeah, there's something in this game that is screwing with the settings. I'll have to look up how to stabilize that. Is it a any light source? Hmm. I feel like I heard that with a game where every time they tried to play, the any time they got near fire or any sort of light source, it got messed up. Hmm. Let's see, if I turn to this now... Okay, it might be light sources. It's when I turn away... Yeah, the... Hmm. Yeah, Maybe. I can't say campfire, but it has so much light animation, but... Just these lamps, even? Hmm. That's kind of concerning. Scout launcher? Uh, 
And you killed someone. <laughs> okay, that launches another of those cameras into the air. And you can just... Okay. Hmm. Okay. Quantum Grove Crater. Okay, let, let's try to avoid looking at too many late light sources all the time. Hmm. Zero G Cave? I do like think this game has a day cycle? Yeah. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. I got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Go soon. Okay. Oh, because you realize. What if it will be worse during the day? Hey, I thought you might, I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? I'd like you weren't nervous for your first flight. Yeah, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. And he lost an eye at some point, it seems. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic Slade has at least fixed the retro rockets. He has not go <laughs> he, he, he is not going to have fixed the retro rockets. So listen, there's a satellite which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in zero G in a zero G cave and need in Paris. If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice, hack down the lift into the cave. Or don't, as long as you're confident you can make that you know, make ship repairs in space. Unrepaired satellite coming up. Cool, get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first flight. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to look up some stuff about this game to make it run more smooth in. Yeah, I haven't heard much of the game, but most games I've heard people mention say like they have some good things to say about it, but also concerns about it with. Uh, yeah, it being not the polish, I think. Like, yeah, what we've seen here so far, people having problems with FPS and such. Yeah, it's not on my end that I ha on my end it'll run smoothly. It's an OBS that, it, for some reason, it just doesn't like it. Yeah, I guess that might explain when many, not many YouTubers have m played it. For maybe too many of them just gave up because they didn't want to work with OBS. Hello there. Tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Uh, give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt. Not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Have to think of it. Tektite saw something crash outside the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Hey, how about, how about that? Yeah, they were on fireworks with the old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that to Tektite once. Pretty rude how long they laughed for if you ask me. Okay, these people might have some uh, trouble with safety <laughs> systems. Yeah, it's kind of concerning. Mm. Okay, there is, it isn't exactly zero G in here. Yeah, wait, are we are we already paused for the minutes? Um, no. I'm not counting this, the, what we had with the, is, <clears throat> with the, uh, with the uh, issues before. So we are at about uh, ten ish minutes more, more like fifteen. And yeah, there's no, there's no gravity in this place. Could this be the core of the planet already, or something, or is it just an anomaly? Wait, anyway. are you saying that the gravity in center of the planet? Yeah, that there's some sort of anomaly going around here. And I can hear sparking, but I can't see where another repair might need to be done. Out there. Okay. Bit tricky to move around with all of this. Go. I wouldn't really trust anything that's just slapped together like this. And yeah. space is break. This thing is turning on its own, it seems. 
Hmm. I can hear sparking from somewhere. And I do not like the near complete uh, darkness of this place. Is it? You think it's if it's sparking that it would cause some light? Yeah, because you would expect that. There it is. Okay. If we have to do that to uh, our spaceship, uh, yeah, I'm not going to like that in the slightest. Also, why is this, why is this mining satellite made out of freaking wood? Okay, now where's the exit? There was a light near it. I have seen there wooden spaceship before in an anime, but. Yeah, it wasn't a plank, it was basically a living space tree ship. It was grown to be space born, not nailed up like this. Yeah. yeah okay, let's get out of there because that was <laughs> that was getting on my nerves. Oh, maybe not maybe not nerves, uh yeah, probably best if Okay, this is the entrance. So yeah, we can put the suit back here. So there is going to be some zero G stuff in this game, and I, I, I hope our suit in the ship is going to be better than this. <laughs> I am so concerned. And we'll have to see if we get to that in the first place with this. Hmm. And yeah, they will, we'll need to seriously look into how to get this game running smoother on OBS, if it will at ever. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little you know, more stressful when you're hurtling through space. Just remember you're threatening and try not to hit anything big. You can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go you know, get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training, you got it. All right. Okay. Observatory. Hmm. There is just something about this game that is making it not like... Maybe that. Hmm. Again, I, from what I've heard about this game, it has to run quite a lot at the same time. And... Okay. What is that walk? That uh, what is? Okay, that uh, uh, I that was the camera uh, satellites. What is this walk of ours? This... It's a bit weird. And what is? No sign. Let's see. Outer Worlds Ventures founding members clockwise from top left horns full. Gosen, Slate, and Feldspar. Okay. What are these? Big thanks to these additional founding members of Otherworld's Ventures, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer, Ben Ettenthorn, Wordle Pi, Jordan Fritz, Tom Cummings. I. Wait, what is that? I think those are. Uh, our own, our own record. Yeah, those are. Those are patrons uh, or uh, Kickstarter supporters. And it's also a YouTubers as well. Yeah, I recognize the last one, Ohm Racker. Otherworld's Ventures, Timberheart's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Harthian, no, Harthian uh, to be intentionally launched into space. I get the feeling there were more before that were unintentionally launched. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Adelrock. Okay. And who is this? 
This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomad, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. Alright, and hello Howl. Hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh buddy? It's the translator, it's the translator tools inaugural flight too. So I'm excited to make it so I'm so excited it makes me lot of nauseous. Let's think. You'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want. Anywhere you want. The two of us uh, put a lot of hours into inventing that tool. So don't break it, okay? Okay, geez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm excited. I'll say that. Yeah, better to <laughs> keep them hopeful as well. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait uh, to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the no no my statue? A new statue? You haven't heard? Gavro brought it back with them from Giant's Deep. And Hornsville just finished prepping it for display. Is it right here? Yeah, this is it right here. Neat, huh? Make me wish we could see what a real life Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. <laughs> it's the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Oh, geez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Hmm. Okay, some sort of deer being? Hmm. I think we might not even get to launching this. <laughs> this piece of Nomai writing was essential for deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text uh, often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh, hello. Uh, translate. Too close to target. Nope, that, okay, that, uh, I thought it was just a scroll, but no, there's a lot, there's a lot of symbols in there. Kazafa, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adler Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Okay, and that is not text. Okay, that's an odd writing structure. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made arts. It is decorated pottery which is discovered on Riddle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial bodies, and other subjects that can be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in this universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. <laughs> were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among the other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? Well, I guess the same reason why these uh, Hearthians are launching themselves into space, to see what's out there. These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno-Archaeological expeditions. Hmm. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. The Nomai uh, body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Hearthians couldn't have descended from Nomian ancestors. It's not clear where the, Nomian, uh, no, where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to the Outer Wilds adventures, uh, <clears throat> allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boosts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Yeah. So, so everything a... is retrobuilt from someone else's technology. Uh, not everything, but a lot of it. 
the no more advanced parts probably. This crystal was taken from my Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, a lot of this is probably going to be to some. Well, of course, some things of this are going to be uh, tutorials for the rest of the game. And I'm getting a bit of a slime rancher feel of this, in that we have to discover things ourselves, that they aren't always going to be uh, explained fully. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited for li to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. The fact that it survives through space tells <laughs> that already. Let's see. Coming soon. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Okay, so we started at the wrong place. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even harder elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Church observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Yeah, but by then, uh, most sentient life will probably already be long, long gone. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Okay. Then it will go uh, up the... Uh, uh, I'm forgetting the... I'm forgetting the name of it, the chemical chart. Future site of our next exhibition. If you have enjoyed your time with Outer Wilds, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. Our quest to explore the furthest reaches of our solar system shouldn't be, wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. We thank you profusely for your support, and we hope to see you again soon. Something stuck to my hand there. I don't know why I might have picked that up. Watch closely. The ball, these balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooking motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adelrock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Okay. So their, their moon is magnetic, I'm guessing. What is this? This strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. But Grabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. So, uh... Yeah, Schrodinger's uh, mineral. <laughs> whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. <laughs> okay, so if we look away... Oh, okay! Okay... Hmm. And yeah, we are at 30 minutes and we haven't even launched this thing, but this game is certainly interesting. Yeah, then we should probably give it the next game's a chance as well. Yeah. So let's leave it there. All progress will be lost. Okay. It's not like there was anything of massive uh, use there. Okay. Let's put that away as well and move on to the next game. Uh, yeah, things are going a bit longer because of everything. And. All right. Uh, I had planned for a different game to be put in here. So, usually before I start these streams, I test out if each game will work with OBS, or at least will be recorded by OBS. This one I haven't had the chance to test yet because we were originally thinking about putting in Outcast 1.1, uh, but we decided to yeah not because it has a very long intro that uh, yeah OBS just wouldn't capture. But it, it seems that uh, this game is just being captured perfectly well by OBS, so we can proceed on. 
Outlands. Okay. Again, I know nothing about this game except what I saw in the, the screenshots. Let's look. Online cooperative. Okay. And there is no loss. 60 FPS. How to play? A to jump. A to jump off wall in the opposite direction. It's a very... Oh, next page. Unlockable moves. Attack, uppercut, low attack, slide. Beam attack. Okay, what is with these... What is with these key... <laughs> with keyboard keys? A K H O the like the hell. You'd think people would make you think people would make better keyboard connections for these types of things. Uh, I for smites, launch pads, spirit moves. Once you've received both light and dark spirits, you can switch between them at any time. Okay. Let's take a quick look here. Turn that off. Yeah, basic, I think, should always be off. But we should have it is an option to turn it on if needed. But I can say they have the option to be synced and not be. But they should never be forced upon you. Yeah. Like Starbound. If you There's listen, a basic on that. I will tell but only you to turn man it lost in his world. Haunted by dreams of legend. Medicine could not help him. Visions drove him on. A shaman, he sought. A teacher and a mystic. The Pal Kaba, who could make sense of these visions. Who would heal him. He found the seer, collapsed at his fireside, and listened as he was told the ancient truth. Stories of a great wheel endlessly turning. Of two sisters who helped make the world. And then sought to shatter it. Imprisoned by a hero, a soul waiting through the ages, eager to be reborn. His time has come again. Whose time? But so has theirs. And the earth trembles in fear. Origin, the story begins. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I was saying, someone has V-Sync. However, you can't access it through the options. If you want to turn off the V-Sync, or is it on, you have to go into the game files. Yeah. And be very specific to not write it wrong. For if you write it wrong, you may break the entire game. What is... A mark of the gods. Find more to collect secret rewards. Okay. Okay. Isn't this a curious game? Beware the energies of rock creation, light and dark. Okay. Runs very smoothly with everything. This this is a very optimized game. And there's another mark. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of an a a path uh, a pan po a potion. Uh, very, it's a very this game is very stylized with this. Yeah, uh, I don't see what you're talking about. But I see, I haven't seen found anyone that made a complete playthrough of it. Well, I, I played through it completely, and it is nice, but it can also get frustrating. Okay, maybe that's why not many made a complete playthrough for. I know Jack, Sactica, and other YouTubers wanted to play it, but they never continued. Maybe we'll give it a shot sometime. I, I think we did something someday on it. I'll have to check maybe? through my uh, through the storage. 
It might and be before joined. A magical light travels here and there through the world, guiding you along your, your journey. And I'm getting a bit of a... Af and similar... Similar to how a Persian was uh, Greek styled, I get a bit of a feeling that this is all in an uh, African style. Of, let me see, I didn't actually know that much about uh, African storytelling or their imagery, or the old imagery and such. Yeah, I know there's been a lot of research into it and it's more and more has been revealed to the public. But it's still, a, yeah, I'm, I'm still new to it myself. I know when, when I was in dawn school and tried to learn about African armor and such, there was nothing at all. But when I give us two how the power came out and I, I tried again, now there was plenty. Okay. Yeah, the, so history is still yeah. being discovered in many places, even today. And yep. Hello. It has been known for Africa has armor, weapons, and all that. For a long time, it has not been put on Wikipedia for some reason. Nice. Melee attack. You can now attack enemies with X, also from ladders. Uppercut them with up and uh, up and X. Uh, crouch attack them with. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to identify if this is African or not. It's very jungle in the very because maybe, maybe, maybe not African, but maybe more South American. Um, South American, African, maybe South Asia, perhaps even. Hmm. Probably would need to see some names to give a better hint. Yeah. What? It's very much a junk. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking maybe South. South American at the moment, because, yeah, this is very much jungle. Yeah, and again, I don't think something we can do with this kind of uh, art style with our uh, symbolism on all, all that, but it looks very elegant. And, yeah, there, there is more to Africa than just deserts and such. Yeah, they have great jungle, savanna and all. So this could be African maybe, or Asia, or South America have a very different art style. And it doesn't strike me too much like Aztec. Yeah. I kind of think this kind of a jungle, and jungle exists in many places. Yeah. Oops. Okay, these creatures are unaffected by these light traps. And it did said something earlier about how these coins were named, but I missed that. The cats, maybe? Hmm. It, it, this could also be a case of it being mishmashed by different, uh, several younger cultures as well. Yeah. Yep. That's um, mm. I'm curious if you think it's supposed to be influenced by some real culture or not completely made up or not. I'm yeah. really struggling here. Most everything is influenced by cult you know, some places culture in some degrees at least, and we can get on top of that. Yeah, either by cultural behavior and all that, or just cultural art style, please. Yeah. Well, I think that in several places they have their own general cultural art style with another real of culture, but they're... Yeah, if you compare them to uh, the people, they are very different. Ow. What the...? Yeah, J Japan also has a uh, shadow play uh, thing. I forget her. Nope. Kabuki is the theater. Hmm. 
Yeah, shadow puppets are found in many places around the world, I think. Yep. Oh. It, it is beautiful, I can say that beautifully. Yep. And another ability. I'm trying to look for any specific things that would give away the cultural influences here. Let's see, slides, down plus A. Okay, that can yeah, knock enemies into the air. I'm trying to remember, so far it seems... It is hard to identify, but I don't think they carry it as thick and all the torture box makes it hard to say yes or no. And yeah, if I look at the group arms, they make me think of old, yeah? But some of those earlier picture diagrams, or you can call them, look almost like something from Africa or Aztec. Yeah, I guess we'll have to settle for it's a mix for now. Yeah, at least here we have some more, well, a bit better form of confirmation. Yeah. Maybe there's some yeah. indie you that explain what, where they got the influence from. I think it's been damn water. Screw up you, whatever you are, spider thing. What the hell? Ow. Yeah, I guess there is. That helmet definitely brought me to more confusion, but I don't think I see a culture with that kind of helmet. You almost died there? Okay, these don't despawn, that is useful. useful like this sort of wing stuff yeah that was it resembles scarabs a lot the scarabs yeah, were a very egyptian thing yeah i agree that that definitely would make me out to be egypt so yeah for now i'm going to guess with a mixture of uh, african influences yeah, you're having to ask and have earned like those. No, I mean, not just not it shown the more fancy earned, the more like the more everyday age, everyday earned, or something like that. Yeah. And it has been well, a long ass time since I've been to a museum, I must admit. I would, yeah, same, I've been, I've been to a museum. I would have been to Stockholm Museum once. All the museums I've been to. They used to be the very small ones. But I, I even had a village in, in my own village. And that wasn't like... Well, about this in small than my apartment here. Or rather, my apartment is like three times its size. Okay. A small house with a few random bobs and stuff and a few... Uh, oh, there's a painting and that was it. Whatever you know. Three thousand years ago. Fall back through time. Become the ancient hero. Let his spirits, dark and light, arm you in this final battle. Okay. Okay, those are by the foremost. Bingo! And we now some almost aspect like a Indian sky to it. Spirit energy. Switch between spirits. Generally, the light or dark spirit allows you to use items aligned with that spirit and resist their energies. Okay. Alright, that, that's a system that has been done quite frequently in some games. Just light and blue and such. Red and blue. I don't. I don't think I've played many of those games. It's so generally the light of dark also allows you to wound enemies aligned with the opposite spirit. Okay. 
So if it's red, go blue. If it's blue, go red. I thought those rocks were coming at me. Happy day on. Hmm. Wait for this to line up. There. I keep trying to fl I keep wanting to plane uh, oh come on I keep wanting to uh, instinctively flinch when those rocks come near then Let's not fall down this time. Probably could have made it there, but I do not want to climb this again. There we go. Yeah, th that, that symbol there, that looks very Aztec with feathers and such. Yeah, in the way, it kind of reminds me of that, but it also draws very more elegantly. Kind of like someone with inspiration on that, but maybe a twist to it. Yeah, and that, that is typically the best way to go with stuff like that, to put your own twist on it, to not just copy something. Yeah, as well if it makes it easy to draw and cut. Mm. Or you can make some unique I, I at times draw those kinds of full vision sculptures, only to come back into the nation, but I think experimentation is in what, what works well in the nation. Yeah. If people were just copying uh, stuff left and right, then uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not much of an artistic person myself, but even I know that just all of everything the same would just be boring for everyone. Yeah. Some simple things like uh, some of those you see me see from Viking, the whole uh, the pattern and this truck pattern and weaving. Those I can say is that those are fine. But if you can go for some like a like posting some tattoos in some on film style where it goes plop into an animal, then you can be so the creator. Right. Things are things are going rather apocalyptic here. Why would these sisters create a world and then try to destroy it? Or is the Maybe case of uh, is the case of them changing more than they wanted to or so? The experiment. Uh, oh, Surpassing its bare its parameters. Is this going to turn into a bullet hell game now? Oh, never mind, because we're going we're getting kicked back here. Okay, so now we have the hero's access. journey ended. Ancient spirits release their grasp, and you awake. Just a man. Surely, it was a dream. A dream of another time. Um, okay, you can see on the left there, the uh, the light symbol and the shadow moon and the dark symbol. They fit each other. If you just turn one of them uh, 180 degrees, that they'd make an, a complete symbol like we saw on the sisters just earlier. Yeah. I am I am very interested in where this game could be going. Teleportation skill. 
level map, it can be easy to lose your bearings in a place like this. And, okay, we don't have the power to change things yet, or to shift spirits yet. Just the art alone is very interesting. Yeah. Hmm. yeah I feel like they took it a lot of inspiration from the uh, culture with the young girls, but put their own twist to them. Just, yeah. Again, it makes it very confusing. Like, you break one piece, but we don't think maybe it makes it even like, its own uniqueness, but also can make it confused and try to identify. Yeah. Or maybe that would be, maybe that's a thing that just people shouldn't try to look too hard into. Yeah, like, if it meant to be many cultures merged into one in an elegant manner, and you're not expecting it and try to think of only one or two, yeah, you can uh, you can uh, hit a wall. Yeah. Trying to analyze everything will lead you to overanalyzing things and trying to look for things that aren't actually there. Like, yeah. why, did the art, why did the artist pick this color or that? Uh, maybe it's because of this or maybe that. And then the, you, you pan to the artist and they say, because I like the color. Yeah, I say, it's okay to free them. So, when you open to analyze it, try to keep an open mind. It's not that you pick one or two copies, it could be several. Yeah. You know, what you have to do to all the things you can Balance it out in a specific way. How can I say that this is a big freaking sword? Like it's taller than he is. It looks like, uh, like a huge knife. Well, <laughs> a long knife or something. It's a big sword. Wait, we're longer than him. Yeah. I, I, I believe there were some weapons in the old times that were as tall as people just, but i think it was mostly just lighter stuff like the longbow yeah they were I, great I, swords, long as you but they were most of them were decorative but others were used in interior but not often they were very specific i remember they were actually yeah. they had been sort of over two meters but I think that was used by an unusual tall person or was meant as a show off to say my smith of this good. I know there is a a type of katana that was Ooh. also extremely long, but uh, I'm forgetting the details of it. But typically it was typically it was carried around by a servant. And meant for cavalry battle, I think. Oh, yeah, I think one no, no, one of them. And I think that you know, is another new samurai sword. But that one was more meant only for ceremonies. Because it was too big to be handled in combat. Yeah. So they wanted for the horses. I think I've seen that it was one of the more rare double engine swords uh, that they had. And it was, I think it was an experiment, or well, they had to be to do recovery, but they apparently experimented with a sword to, well, chop off the legs of a horse. <laughs> yeah, that is one way to deal with cavalry. Just uh, yeah. screw the rider, go for the horse. <laughs> yeah, I forgot if it was a success or not, but I do think it was uh, not very common compared to, well, a spear sheep. And it's probably easier to cross than just swing an entire sword against cavalry. Yeah, spears you just you just point and uh, stab. No need to swing yeah. that thing around. And you can make spears very long too. Without making it too heavy. And the sword can become very heavy. And require a lot of training, so. Yeah, I think that's uh, maybe very situational. But it, it makes me try. I mean, you play to see if it was a success or not a... Yeah, it works, but... Not uh, 
fuck people in all. That's all thing. Oh, and what have we here? Donate 15,000 to the Keeper of Life to receive. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice little find. And. Yeah. Uh, what the heck is that? Is someone being carried by a stick? That, that's a very stereotypical uh, African jungle uh, design. But, like, you, you've seen one of those old cartoons where people were carrying around like that, so often to a, a cannibal cooking pot or something. Yeah, it looks like it, you killed something. And now we have that. You are yeah. nearing your half hour though, and it, it, the story is you now it's a bit light, but it's interesting to s I, I'm interested to see where it will go in. Okay. How, how did you? I want to have you look at how to see where did it get all the inspiration from? Or you could you just to see uh, have a good insight of the artist's mind. So how much they study different art forms to make this. Yeah, now we also know a reason why to collect all of this money. Okay. Get a view before that thing sets up again. Uh, yeah, let's go to that door, get through it, and then probably find a safe state, a, a checkpoint, and call it there. And yeah, well, this one is a, this one is a yes. This this one's just a plain yes. Oh yeah, and hopefully not too long. So I'd be surprised if they made this to like uh, 20 streams work. That would surprise me. Yeah, I find that doubtful. But yeah, good thing that we swapped uh, out, uh, Outcast for this, because Outcast is a pretty old and big game, though there is a remake of it, and they're actually working on a sequel as well. So, yeah, if, if we're going to stream Outcast, not Outlast, Outcast, then uh, it'll probably be the remake. Yeah, that makes sense, and it should be more likely to work. Yeah. And I hope that gate counts as a checkpoint as well. And yeah, yeah, it's 2014. Okay, and by Ubisoft as well. So yeah, that uh, that has been uh, another something Sunday. Then uh, let's see, Orwell is a maybe. It's it's unconventional gameplay, not really stuff that would be too interesting. And well, we we probably run out of subjects to talk about or. Uh, real fast because I most of it is probably going to be about over surveillance and such. Yeah, or lead to all the political things that just uh... Yeah, out there somewhere. I get the feeling it'll it's going to be a short game, so we might put we slap that on a Saturday to see if we can finish it off. Um Outer Wilds um Maybe I'll have to get it to work first and outland here. This is a yes. It, this this has me intrigued. Same here. I will not play the game, but I'll definitely commentate with you on it. <laughs> yeah, and it is just playing pretty as well. Yeah, I'm oh. So then, uh, thank you, Abby Sony, for watching, and you too, Koraki, if you are still around. It doesn't matter if you're not. Speak. And of course, anyone else who may have been watching now or later. And as always, special thanks to you, Dick here. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah. Uh, Tuesday, more Darksiders. Thursday, probably the same. And yeah. Until next time, but until then, until then. Be safe, folks!